We're here for the week two press conference with offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach Jake Spavital for Auburn Week. We'll go ahead and get started with questions, and we'll start with Jake Ferrado from Cal Sports Report. Jake, how you doing this morning? Doing good. How you doing? All right. Um, can you uh, tell us what you saw in um, Auburn's pressure on the quarterback uh, the other day against UMass? They had four sacks. Six pressures, I think, uh, quarterback hurries. Um, how much of a challenge will that be for your offense and your line in particular? Yeah, that's going to be a that's going to be a very tough challenge for us. Um, you know, I've been you know fortunate enough to go up against Coach Ron Roberts uh, a few times over the past couple years, and uh, uh, he creates a lot of havoc up front. You know, he knows how to isolate our protections. He knows uh, he really can do that to everybody. Uh, he does a really good job on that, and. One of the keys is we got to stay out of those passing downs, those like third down and longs, because uh, that's when he's he's very dangerous in what he does. But I think they're a very talented uh, front. I think they they when they get the, they pin their ears back, uh, they can go get the QB. Obviously, they had four sacks and a lot of QB hurries, and and they did, were a lot more disruptive too on some other things, especially perimeter screen game and all that as well. Uh, they make it very difficult on the QB, so uh, it's going to be a very tough challenge for our offensive line. Um, you know, and one of that is to be efficient with the play calls and try to stay out of those passing downs. Did you feel like your your run game set up your pass game pretty well last week? It did. It did. Uh, in going into the North Texas game, we knew that they're going to be a three high safety team. So you got to establish the run game. You have to. And uh, uh, it's going to be a, a different scheme this week. Um, there's going to be more guys in the box and they do a great job at stopping the run. Uh, so, you know, there's going to be some things that, uh, and that's what Coach Roberts has done over the years. Uh, it's just uh, he's very sound in what he does, and everything is going to be contested. So, you know, going into last week's game, you know, we knew we had to establish a run, and that's got to be a definitely a force of impact as well uh, for us to, uh, to force the run and get that established as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, next question, we'll go to Nathan King from 24-7 Sports. Hey, Jake, you mentioned uh, your, your time going against – Coach Roberts, I think in 21, y'all had a really close game against them that they had an incredible defense that year. What were some of the, I guess, pillars of success for you guys against um, his defense? And, and you mentioned it a little bit there with the with the running game, but I guess how important is it kind of to have balance with those with y'all's two running backs? Yeah, it's kind of like what you're talking about. Like he just does this like such a great job. If he gets you behind the chains, it's very very behind the chains and not playing like, you know, on pace. Uh, it, it's very difficult to to move the ball on him, you know, when he when he has everything in his favor. And uh, I think that's just like what he does is uh, once he gets you behind the chains, he's very disruptive. He can get a little exotic. He can trap coverages. He does a simulated cover twos. He's he's going to do his edge pressures. He'll bring corner fire and he'll bring uh, you know nickel pressures as well, and he'll keep you on your toes. Uh, so like our QBs have to be locked in. You know, I think he does a good job at taking away your RPOs. Uh, so we're going to have to establish the run game. So we've got to be creative in what we got uh, up front uh, and with our run game because if you uh, can't establish the run game on uh, Coach Roberts, uh, it's going to be very difficult to throw against him. All right, we'll go to Michael Wagman from Bear Insider. Hey, Coach. Sam status obviously is still up in the air this week. Ben came in and did some really good things with you. I'm just curious from a play calling standpoint, do things change much when you change quarterbacks, or are you just basically going, look, this is what we are, this is what we do, no matter who the quarterback is? No, I, the the play calling does change. Um, you know, one is, you know, you do a lot of reps. You know, I had a spring and a fall camp with Sam, and I've had a, a summer and a fall camp with uh, – with Ben and you just kind of figure out what the what they're capable of doing and what's their strengths, what their weaknesses, uh, and you know uh, if they have any dynamic ability. We know Sam can run the ball; he's very athletic, and uh, so you can do a lot more different type of play calls with Sam. But uh, we have our base foundation of what we do offensively, um, and uh, th those are always going to be a staple every single week. But it, it's also when you get into kind of the game plan type of plays. Uh, each one of those guys are going to be different and have a comfort level for different type of plays. So, uh, you know, there's a good amount of just uh, doing the same thing for both of them, but, you know, there is some specialized plays for both those kids as well. Thank you. Thank you. Next question will come from Matt Moreno from Rivals. Uh, there's been talk about just the rules changes and how it's maybe impacted, you know, plays that can be run, all that type of thing. What was your feeling on just kind of how big game flow went with the, with the new rules in place? 
Yeah, I didn't really notice it that much. I think we snapped it 95 times in this last game. So uh, it was uh, one, you know, the defense did a, an unbelievable job and gave us, you know, great field position and got us the ball back a lot. Um, but it was more just about, you know, like I thought that we'd probably be roughly around, I think, seven to 10 plays less than what we normally do with the running clock after uh, first down. Uh, we had 30 first downs in this game, and uh, I still thought we snapped it a ton. So, uh, you know, I wasn't really done. I didn't really notice much of the, the rule changes. But uh, I bet you this week coming into it versus Auburn, you know, you're probably going to uh, really recognize that, you know, especially if uh, both teams are going at it and uh, and and really holding on to the ball and, and uh, you know, trying to milk the clock a little bit at times too. You know, you're going to have to speed up your play calling. We'll go to Thomas Dunn from Right for California. Uh, good morning, Jake. So after moving the ball relatively effectively against North Texas, how much more, if at all, is this a benchmark test for you in the offense with the personnel and coaches you'll be facing on Saturday? Yeah, this is a true test this weekend. I think Auburn is, uh, you know, from a personnel standpoint, I think they've got a lot of elite players. You know, I've, I know their coaching staff. Uh, and I got a ton of respect for him, and everything's going to be contested. Everything's going to be earned, uh, and it's it's going to be a physical, violent game. It is, and uh, uh, it's going to be a true test on who we are. You know, I didn't, I wasn't very pleased with our practice today. Uh, we got to have more energy because uh, I know what type of uh, you know calling plays in the SEC for three years. You know, like I know what it entails, and uh, uh, these kids got to be on point and they got to bring it. And uh, because uh, if not, you'll get exposed. And uh, this is going to be a great ta challenge for us. And uh, this is going to be a really a good kind of measurement on who we are as an offense. All right. Any other questions for Coach Spavital today? All right. Looks like that'll. Oh, we'll go to Steve Croner from the SF Chronicle. Yeah, Jake. Sorry, I got in a little late here. Oh, good. Um, I appreciate it. You know, you talk about, you know, you're going against an SEC team and all the challenges that that poses. If you're on the other side and you're going against the Cal offense that just put up 669 yards and 58 points, what do you think they're saying the challenges of going against uh, the Bears are? Yeah, like I, I just know how they are as coaches. You know, uh, they're they're gonna have those guys ready to go. You know, uh, there's not very many opportunities you have in college football. You know, we've already had one down. We got 11 guaranteed more to go. So you're gonna make the most of it. So they're gonna do everything they got to to uh, to get those guys ready. And they're gonna be you know playing on point. You know, uh, that's we're expecting their best game. You know, and that's uh, uh, you know just kind of a, a testament to who they are as coaches and and just the personnel that they have. But when you look at us offensively, you know, there are some similarities of teams that they play in that league. You know, um, I do think that, you know, the SEC, the trenches are uh, the offensive line play. There's a lot bigger bodies, you know, and uh, a lot, you know, more violent challenges, I guess you could say, in the trenches. But, you know, overall, like they, they're going to be they're They see a good mix of everything in the SEC. So it's more about trying to figure out who they believe our, our best players are and who they want to um, try to bracket and eliminate out of the game. And and uh, uh, they'll have their adjustments throughout the course of the game. So it's uh, I, I think that they're they've seen it all. Like, I think their offense is very similar to us, too. You know, um, just in the so they go up against a lot in practice. So you're going to see. A lot of uh, probably both teams doing a lot of creativity um, on just trying to cause confusion in these games because there's a lot of familiarity of both teams going up against each other, just from their coordinator standpoints. Does that make sense? Thank you. All right. Yeah. All right. If you have a last question for Coach Babbitt, I'll go ahead and put it in the chat now. All right. Looks like that'll wrap it up. Thanks, Coach. We'll be back soon with uh, defensive coordinator Peter Sherman.